All right, it's time for the next section of the Tales of Symphonia playthrough. The last time we had to buy another potion because Colette ran into someone clumsily and broke their favorite punch potion. I have a feeling that this is going to turn into a long quest of some kind. And yeah, we didn't even talk to this NPC, so let's talk to them. Open. Welcome to Skipper's Haven. It's 200 gold a night. Would you like a room? Oh, this is just the inn. I do not need a room right now. Um, what I need to do is buy, get a replacement potion somehow. Lately, we've been getting a lot of peeping toms. It's becoming a real problem. Through this big open window, you mean? Alright, let's skip that. When I tried to go down the street, the uh, one of the thugs in the opposing party was like, "Hey, you're trying to run away. You're not. Uh, you're not paying for that potion." So I'm just gonna explore everything here first. See what's going on. Absolutely nothing. So I assume this was the potion store, but it's not. So let's leave. Get out of here. Alright, so if I try to go down the street to the left, I can't make it. There was this potion in a cask, supposedly down there, but I don't think I can get down there because last time I tried... Hey, they're trying to run away. What? Yeah, the same stuff. You'd better stop screwing around, hurry up and buy that potion. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh no, what should I do? I dropped a barrel of our shop's potion into the river. Mom is going to kill me. I'd like to get that potion from you and give it to that dude. I can't risk saying this very loudly, but the truth is, I envy Azalea's non-aggression treaty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about that. Um, this looks like a tavern, maybe? Palma potion, I'm afraid we're sold out. Please check again later. What is Palma potion? Oh, examine. So this is the famous Palma potion. Can I steal it? Can I commit some theft? Apparently not. Again, like I said before, uh, when you can steal in games, it's uh, usually way too powerful anyway, so maybe it's for the best. Uh, let's talk to this person. Now, yeah, welcome to the Castle Exploration Team. Do you need help with something? I do not. What's this guy? Now, yeah, purchase, purchase a mysterious gem with your grade. Uh, yeah, current grade is 87. Give me that gem. It's great to purchase EX gem level 1. Who in the party does not have one that really needs one? Um, I feel like I'm going to have genius a lot, at least for the most part. EX gem, magical tough, taunt, dodge. And Dodge strong. I could give Rain more magical. That might actually help her out a little bit more. Yeah, that'll raise her int up a little bit. Sounds good to me. Wonder if int actually helps raise the healing skill too. I assume it does, because that would make sense. Have you met Neil? Yep, I met Neil. Who's Neil? Neil is an aide who assists Dor. He's such a wonderful man. Heart. Okay. Mama Potion is this city's most famous product. Have you tried some yet? From the look of your face, I guess not. should be thankful that we're even willing to spend money for goods from a rundown shack like this. I don't 
need to hear that from a bunch of filthy designs. I'm not going to sell one single gel to the likes of you. Shukala, stop. But Mom, these are the same monsters that took Grandma away. You've got some nerve talking to us like that, little girl. You keep that up, and we can't guarantee what'll happen to you or the city. Just try it. As long as Governor General Dora is around, we'll never submit to the likes of you. You little... Stop. We'll exceed our quota for this year. We need permission from Lord Magnus to go any further. Hmm. <laughs> Depending on Lord Magnus's mood, you might or might not get to keep that pretty little head of yours. Well then, I'm off to work now, Mom! Take care. I apologize for what happened. I'm sure you were startled. Please, relax and take a look around. Door of Palmacosta. The people of Palmacosta are brave. Yeah, they're facing up to the designs. I wish I could show this to the people of Azalea. Sounds like that person they called Dora is doing a good job of leading them. We should speak with him first. Well, we can't until we get some more potion. Welcome to the item shop, Marbles. Or, Marbles is the name of the shop. Okay. Palma Potion is a thousand, and I just spent all of my gold. So, that is not going to work at all. Just as I suspected. Palma Potion sure is expensive. What should we do? I don't think they're going to forgive us without the potion. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Are you folks in need of money? Ah, uh, well, a lot of things have been done. If so, you should visit the cafeteria at the Palma Costa Academy. Their cook was looking for a waitress. Oh, I'll do it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go upstairs. There's a book titled Dwarven Vows. Would you like to read it? Yeah. Dwarven Vow number one. Let's all work together for a peaceful world. Dwarven Vow number two. Never abandon someone in need. Dwarven Vow number four. No, number three, I guess. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. Dwarven Vow number seven. Goodness and love will always win. Why do they have this stupid book here? I agree. What a dumb bunch of crap. Anyway, let's get out of here. Try to find that cafeteria and make some money. And repay our debt. Oh yeah. All about Neil. Yep, I met him. He's wonderful, isn't he? The wonderful Neil. Governor General Dorr! Dad was taken away to the ranch and hasn't come back. Even though I've been a good boy. Hang on just a little longer. I promised, remember? And I'll save everyone who's been taken away to the ranch. But I'm lonely. Don't worry, father is a friend of everyone in this city. My mother died of an illness. But your father should still be alive. I'm sure he'll come back. Really? Yes, they're all taken away because they fought back against the designs. I swear I'll rescue them. Okay, I'll wait for Dad to come back. Good boy. Let's go, Kilia. Yes, Father. Who is that? Governor General Dor. He's recruiting soldiers and resisting the designs. He's a wonderful man. After losing his wife to an illness, he's raised his daughter Kilia all by himself. As long as... Ge Governor General Dor is here, uh, that double G sound, we won't submit to the designs. Even if we're carried off to the ranch, Dor will come and save us. We believe in him. The people of the city are all so strong. That Dor person must be a great man. Okay. 
auction be some kind of fraud? Just because I am a cynical prick. Neil is monopolizing the attention of the girls in this city. I wish he'd share some of it. Long live Dor, despite losing his wife five years ago. He has shown not one moment of weakness over it. And has continued to govern the city. Dor is the hero of the city. Look at this dog. Ha ha ha. Oh, my beloved Neil, I'm too embarrassed to look straight at him. I don't know what that emotion bubble is supposed to convey, but okay. Dor's wife has already passed away. He now lives with his daughter, Kilia. Have you seen that steamship at the edge of town? It's the crowning achievement of Palma Coast and Technology. Came to, I came to worship at the church today. You all should go too. Really, I just want to find this cafeteria first. On the right, you can see the church and school. On the left, you can see the government building. Pretty smart, huh? It's neither of which are cafeterias. Oh, I guess it's in the, in the, uh, the academy. The boys don't take their class duties seriously. Ain't that too bad. How are you doing, ma'am? What? Cool. Mom said the steamship is dangerous, so I mustn't go near it. I'm just gonna hang out right outside of it, though. The steamship will surely become the next famous symbol of Palma Costa. What a huge ship! Back in my day, we would never have thought of something like this could exist. Wow, it's really big. Don't you think so, Lloyd? <laughs> well, it's amazing. Uh, mm, I mean, uh, nah, nah. It's not really anything to get excited about. It's as big as our village church. It can't possibly be that big. Surprise, kids? This is the Pride of Palma Costa, the latest in technological achievement, the Steamship Isabel. Hey, that's that ninja, Sheena. Wow, I heard these were behind the times, but this sure is an ancient time, ancient design. We can't possibly still be using steam as a power source. Hey, how dare you insult our Isabel? Oh, shut up. What are you getting so worked up about? I'm... Uh... Just, just remember, you're dead the next time we meet. Isn't that pretty much the same thing she said last time? To tell the truth, with a ship this big, cleaning the whole thing is a real pain. Come on, let's do that one thing. No, no, let go. I can't imagine what that is a reference to, but uh, we'll just move on. This way leads to the engine room. Only crew members manage it here. Well, thanks for telling me exactly what it is. Well, what do you think of her? I'm the captain of the ship. Aren't you impressed? Fuck no. Let's check out this building on the far right first. I think it says school on top. Say, Genus, you were supposed to go to the school, weren't you? Uh, yeah. I was given a recommendation. You? 
A child this small is recommended for the elite Palma Costa Academy? <laughs> He's bluffing. It took me six tries to pass the entrance examination. What? Don't make fun of him. Genus can even say his multiplication table. <laughs> what kind of low example is that? Well, it's a uh, high level for Lloyd. They say birds of a feather flock together. I'm sure this runt is in the same level. What? You're nothing compared to Genus. Interesting. Will you challenge me then? You'll do it, right? That's easy for you to say. Um, yeah, let's accept that challenge. You should know that I'm the highest ranked academy, highest ranked student at this academy. You're gonna regret it later. <laughs> student A and Student B. I'll prepare the questions. When you're ready, come to the classroom in the back on the second floor. I haven't been studying lately, so... Yes, let's do a little intensive training. We should borrow an empty classroom. Oh shit, it's Wonder Chef. I am the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef. Spell your love with ketchup. I shall teach you the recipe for omelets. Learned how to cook an omelet. Nice. An omelet requires two ingredients. Rice and egg. Required ingredients for an omelet. Well, there we go. So we start off uh, knowing how to make a sandwich, because everyone can hopefully make a sandwich. Then we learned cabbage rolls. I don't know how to make cabbage rolls, so that seemed pretty impressive. Then we learned uh, rice balls. Uh, the only thing I know about rice balls is that you need to cook the rice and prepare it correctly to get it to ball up right. But, uh, I don't know. An omelette, like, maybe that's hard. I don't know if we need Wonder Chef to teach us this. Um, but I'll take it. Thanks, Wonder Chef. Today's recommendation, same as usual. This is not an empty classroom. Hmm, where did it go? I have some questions about yesterday's lecture. Talk to this guy. Hmm, what? You didn't understand yesterday's lesson? Let's check this place out. Let's see. That last test I took was a disaster. This guy looks like a chef, too. The cook. Say, you there. Would you like to be a waitress for a little while? It's like he clocked her. Um, yes. Do you need an explanation? Uh, for this video game? Probably, yeah. You deliver the food that the customers order. First, you memorize the customers' orders. Then you relay those orders to the kitchen. Finally, you carry the food out to the customers. That's all there is to it. I'm sure he'll do fine. Now here come the customers. Three Sichuan curry, please. Two curry, please. I, I have an order. Oh god, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't paying attention that hard. And the customers do kind of look the same. It's ready, take it!
Did I already get it? Uh, I have an order. I no, I don't yet. That's everything. Here you are. Oh God. Oh no. Uh, here you are. Huh? Uh, I didn't order anything else. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you are. Phew, done. Blonde, one goat, fish please. Brunette. Yum tea, old guy, no idea. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. I, uh, I, uh, I did not, I, <laughs> alright, so the brown haired lady needed yum tea. Um, I'm gonna guess barbecue combo for one of them. And oriental rice for the next one. Thankfully, like, this is really just a uh, role playing Colette. The, that will be my excuse. Here you are. You had the oriental rice? I didn't order this. One grilled fish, please. Hurry up. Did they switch spots? Wait, what? Now I'm confused. Huh? I didn't order anything else. Didn't you order tea? I'm so confused. I wound up with some leftovers. One barbecue combo for the blondes, two grilled fish for the gray lady, one yum tea for a patron and the brown guy. Uh, <laughs> that guy's not getting anything, because I didn't pay attention to him. And I've just forgotten all of this stuff. You know what I should have done in real life? Is get a pen and paper, like you normally do with orders. If I order one of everything, they... Sure. Sure. <laughs> this has gone incredibly poorly. Barbecue combo. Huh? I didn't order anything else? Is that a question? I don't... Did I get the number wrong? Oh. Am I pressing the button wrong? Ah. <sighs> Three oriental rice, please. mean that they got everything? Okay. When they have the little emotion bubble, that means they got what they need. Sichuan curry. Uh, I don't know, man. 
One yum tea. If only I had any uh, pens that worked in my room, but I don't. So, this is how it's gonna go. Two grilled fish. No. The chef is gonna murder Colette. I can't take it anymore. Claims you double my sales, but look at what you've done. Leave. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. I don't want to hear it. Just get out of here. I can't. We have to buy some Palma Potion. Look, I'm sure that's important, but... 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 Don't... Don't think I'm going to change my mind just because you're looking at me with those puppy dog eyes. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll give you this, but... So just get out of here. What? Acquired Palma Potion. Wow, thank you. Please just leave me alone for a while. Hey. At the end of the day, it's all that matters. Now let's go win a... Uh, win a math contest or something. That'll totally go well. Now, while Genus and I are reviewing, all of you can spend some time studying as well. It's a good opportunity. Ugh. Yes, I'll do my best. Hmm. Let's start with imaginary numbers. Good idea. You had some trouble with those. Question one. What did Lloyd learn from Kratos in the tree of runes? Guardian. Question two. On the Osa Trail, what did the value of 9.8 that Genus substitute refer to? Uh, acceleration due to gravity. Question 3. Where was Lloyd born? Ooh. Well, that's a good question. Um, did Azalea's parents come f or did Lloyd's parents come from Azalea? Because he wasn't born at Dirk's house. I'm going to go with Azalea. What was the way to remember the summon spirit relationship table again? The ice melts because it's Ifrit, so was it Sylph that didn't get along with Ifrit? Honestly, I can't concentrate. I think it's time we head to the test room. I think it'll be okay. Let the match begin. I'm not going to lose. I've heard what's going on. In the interest of fairness, I've prepared the questions. Now take your seats. The rest of you go ahead, and I'll take the test as well. What? Me too? Well, just try it out. Begin. Announce the results. First, last place is Boyd Irving with 25. Whoa, 25! That's your best yet, Lloyd. Congratulations. <laughs> the rest follow in order. Colette Brunel, 210. Huh. It's not out of 100? It's out of 400. Oh. Kratos Orion, 380. Rain Sage, 400. Not like we expected anything but perfection from the professor. 
Uh, I shall announce the scores of Genus and Mighty. Mighty Washington, 398. Genus Sage, 398. The same score. That's not possible. Damn it, that was so close. I have no choice. I'm sorry I made fun of you. No, you're amazing yourself. Thank you. I must say, Genus, it is quite impressive. Yes, he's very accomplished for his age. It's no wonder he received a recommendation to our school. How about it? Would you like to stay here and study with us? Yes, do that. You'll probably become the most notable genius the school's ever seen. Whoa, genius. <laughs> genius. It's alright if you want to stay. I mean, you, you should stay, really. No, I'm going to... No, I'm going to go on with all of you. I'll go back to studying when this world is at peace. Are you sure? Of course. I already said. I'm sticking by you forever. Yeah. Then I'll give you this certificate to enter the academy. Come back any time when the journey is over. I will. Genus obtained the title of Honor Roll. What's that title do? Gives him more bright student in town. He has three times the normal brain power. Gives him more intent accuracy. Sounds pretty good. So, even though Colette, Colette totally failed being a waitress, totally not my fault at all. Uh, I didn't really have to do much with Genus. Thankfully, he's just a genius all by himself. Uh, so far, a pretty successful trip to this place. Got Genus a title, and we got the money for the potion that we need. Let's walk into this place. Oh, it's a church. Chocolat. Oh, you're the ones that came to our item shop earlier, aren't you? I'm sorry about what you saw earlier. Really. I work there as a pilgrim tour guide. <sighs> Don't worry about it. But are you going to be okay? Those guys might not hesitate to destroy this entire city. <laughs> you don't know anything, do you? This area is under the control of Magnus from the Eastern Ranch. But just last month they reached the designated death count limit. We're safe until next year. Intense. So this city hasn't signed a non-aggression treaty? Azalea is the only place with a treaty like that, although there are many who envy it. I don't want any part of the treaty that panders to the designs. But that means you must spend every day in fear of the designs. It doesn't matter what I do, everyone lives in fear of the designs. And besides, Governor General Dor is building a resistance force to fight the designs. I'll be getting rid of them soon, and on top of that, I've heard that the Chosen of Mana has already begun her journey of world regeneration. Oh, yes. Just hang in there until the Chosen saves us, okay? Uh, okay. I will. Colette, she doesn't realize you're the Chosen. So while we're waiting for the regeneration, I recommend that you follow Martel's teachings and go on a journey. The current tour is already full, so... Would you like to sign up for the next one? You're nice, so I'll let you in on the tour at a reduced rate. Heart. Let's see, let's talk to these people. Goddess Martell, please help my business to thrive. To live is to journey, all people must journey. The pilgrimage is part of the teachings of the Church of Martell. Goddess Martell, please grant us your blessing. What's this dude say? He's just sleeping. Good call. The Church of Martel is founded by Spiritua. Spiritua. She was chosen, who held great love for all people. Oh, chosen one, do you remember me? I'm March. I trained as a priest at the Martel Temple. Of course I remember you. It's so nice to see you again. So you've become a pastor now. Yes. 
Ever since the Tower of Salvation appeared, I have eagerly awaited the arrival of the Chosen. He has huge eyebrows. The legend of Spiritra will surely be of use to you. Spiritra gave her first sermon here, right? Yes, that is correct. The legend of the world regeneration from that time was written down in the Book of Regeneration and was given to the royal family. It contains a record of the location of every seal. That's it. We won't have any trouble finding the seals if we have that. And where is the Book of Regeneration? It is currently being held by Governor General Dor. Thank you, we'll go to the scene right away. Cool stuff. I just want to see if there's any chests in these alcoves. And I don't think there are. Okay. Let's get out of there. What should we do? Shall we just go looking for the seals using Romeo's words as clues? I think we should... I think we would be better off getting hold of the Book of Regeneration. Rain, you know you're more interested in that book itself than the location of the seals. Now let's go to the sea of general. Uh, <laughs> Governor General. Governor General. Yes. Let's see. Let's talk to these guards. Or don't. Down below is the prison. Do you want to be thrown in there? Greetings, travelers. We welcome travelers. As per the teachings of Martel, may the blessing of Martel be upon those who journey. Ha, ah, thanks. Actually, we're looking for something called the Booklet of Regeneration. We heard at the church it's here. What the? It's the Book of Regeneration, dummy. I, I knew that. Yeah, what do you say? The Book of Regeneration. Yes, that's our family treasure, but what of it? We want you to lend it to us. What an insolent request. I'm sorry, that was rude. We are aiding the Chosen on our journey of world regeneration. For the sake of the future of our world, we wish to learn the path followed by Spiritra. Governor General Dor. Yes? The Chosen was just here moments ago. How dare you defile that name. These despicable criminals must be arrested and turned over to the church at once. Wow, Father, did you see? She has wings. She's like an angel. They're beautiful. W wait, everyone, know your weapons. This person before us is without a doubt the Chosen of Mana. There is no mistaking the angel wings that are on your back. Please forgive our insolence, Chosen One. Ah, uh, please, it's okay. Um, uh, it's alright, really. Everyone tells me I'm not very Chosen-like at all. But this means the Chosen we gave the Book of Regeneration to was an imposter? Wait a minute, you said something about the Chosen coming here already? You handed over the Book of Regeneration. Earlier, the Chosen of Mana came and asked us to give her the Book of Regeneration. We had received information that the Chosen's group was headed this way, so we naturally thought that they were them. Are you stupid or something? Now what are we supposed to do? I am terribly sorry. I can't believe this. Do you use your eyes at all, or are they just there for decoration? You humans are... <laughs> oh, man. Rain kicks ass. <laughs> Genus, that's enough. You don't happen to remember the contents of that whatever it's called book, do you? I'm afraid not. It is, after all, written in the language of the angels, so only members of the church can read it. I guess we don't have any choice but to search for that the seals ourselves. Well then, let us go. That's kind of what I assume that the that group of people that Colette bumped into and dropped their potion. Uh, Colette's a posture. I can't 
can't believe someone's pretending to be Colette. Yes, this is trouble we didn't need. <laughs> Someone pretending to be me. I feel like a famous celebrity or something. Hey, Clay, you are famous? The entire world has its eyes on you. Oh, yeah, that's right. It still doesn't quite feel real, you know? Oh, brother. We're gonna be okay at this rate. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, like, the people that Colette bumped into are probably imposters. They kind of look like, uh, rival traveling squad, but, like, the Waluigi version of us. Yeah, these people. Here. Handed over the palm potion. Alright then, looks like you're good little boys and girls after all. Just make sure you learn your lesson and don't mess with us again. Yes, I'll be careful. Come on, we're leaving. I have to say that Governor General Dor sure was trusting. It's hard to believe he just gave us his family treasure like that. So what are we going to do with that anyway? You're an idiot. We don't have any use for that thing. We're just going to sell it to that geezer on Hakonesia. Hakonesia. Geezer on Hakonesia Peak who flex old jump. Now, let's go. <laughs> Sorry for getting us in trouble. Huh. Wait a minute. They just said something about Governor General Dor. Do you think they might have been? Indeed. One would presume that they're the imposters. How can you sound so relaxed about this? Why didn't you say something earlier? I thought you were simply giving them some rope so you could follow them and reel them in later. Was that not where you let them go? What? Um, yeah, of course. Yep, that's the plan. I guess I was wrong. So it would seem. What? These people were imposters? Sheesh, you're so stupid, Lloyd. It's not like you realized either. I wonder where they went. They mentioned Hakonesia Peak. Damn it, come on after them. Let's see. We're still at full stats. Let me walk into this inn and save. The imposters. Damn it, those guys really piss me off. I mean, the imposters, right? I know, I'm really mad too. Oh, wait, that's Genus. Right? Colette's the only one trying to save the world. Huh? Doesn't it make you mad, Colette? <laughs> well, I think if there are lots of Chosens, the odds of the world being saved go up. That would be a good thing. Ugh. Uh, I mean, it's sound logic. Makes sense. So let's see. Let's actually go down here. What's that floating barrel? So I guess I can't grab it anyway. Have you met the door later in the city? Yep. I see, never mind then. Northeast of here lies Hakonesia Peak. The Governor General built a checkpoint there, so you'll know it when you see it. This is the port city of Palma Costa, the largest city in Silver. In case I forgot. My dad gave me this boat, but I'm too scared to ride in it. Palma Costa City Guide. Alrighty. So we saved. Got this. Looks like we get to leave the city. And do we have any money? Nope. We just got a potion. Alright, so we're back in the old world. Let me save out here. I'm gonna make a separate save just. Oh. Got it. Let me make extra saves just in case. So, there, see something out in the woods over there? Oh, it's like a hole in that island or something. Anyway, I'm probably going to have to do some grinding 
And since right now this playthrough is about 45 minutes long, um, I think I might stop this here and maybe in the next sec section like make it more combat focused because basically that entire playthrough right now was uh, going through the city and going through a lot of exposition and uh, figuring stuff out. So I think now is actually a good place to stop and in the next video uh, probably going to be a little bit more combat focused, grind out some more levels, uh, get some more money, optimize my equipment, and that'll be it. So we're going to end the video here, give one last save, and until next time, uh, have a good one.